our photosynthesis, none of us would be here. Photosynthesis produces oxygen from sunlight and water. It's probably one of the most important processes on the planet. And I do believe that photosynthesis is really a pivotal trait for us to be able to feed the world. We've known since the food crisis in the mid-2000s that we're facing a big challenge with stagnating annual improvements in yield. Feeding more people, you know, 10 billion people by 2050 or whatever the number is, with that extra layer of environmental instability on top of it, everybody understands the problem. And so we have to have solutions that kind of match that. The breeders actually came to us as photosynthesis experts who were saying, well, you know, do we have a way that we could improve crop yield um, by improving the efficiency with which the plants actually harvest light? Rice is the staple food for over half the world's population, three and a half billion people. So we decided that, yes, we could try it. Green organisms, so algae and plants, photosynthesize. Most of them use a relatively simple photosynthesis called C3 photosynthesis, but over 60 times independently, the C4 pathway evolved. Uh, and it is more efficient, particularly when the plants are in dry, hot conditions. For my more petrol-headed mates that are into cars, imagine that carbon dioxide is the fuel uh, and the crop is the, the car engine. C4 plants uh, pump carbon dioxide into the engine and work like a turbocharger. So they are a turbocharged plant. We could increase yield by 50%. We could reduce water use input and also reduce nitrogen input. So it's kind of a win-win-win. The evolution's worked out multiple times already. So with a somewhat arrogant view, we think, why can't we? <laughs> that is quite a bold thing to try. That was my reaction when I first heard it. It's like, wow, do you really think you can accomplish that? <laughs> you know? And many of the things we try to do, we realize we can't do. So we have to sidestep a little bit and try and develop the technology to enable us to do it. Flying the airplane, you know, as, as, you're, as you're kind of building it. And Jane does that really, really well. We still have seven groups uh, in six countries working on the project. And so that all has to be coordinated in terms of Hurt the cats, I guess you'd say, by pretty much telling them uh, what she thinks they ought to, to do. <laughs> the way that Jane sliced and diced it was, we, we kind of teamed it. If you'd view the bits that we needed to make the car, you know, we sort of divvied it up according to people's ability. And we found out along the way that some of the parts that we were putting together to make the turbocharged rice they actually worked pretty well just on their own. So we have the three prototypes that those plants are currently being tested in the field. None of them are doing efficient C4, but they're on the way. Um, so it's a question now of sort of bringing those things together, which it will probably be another 10 or 15 years. Based on being around in the community for 30 years, you know, I can't overstate just the impact that this project has had on the way people think about what's possible. It was certainly one of the first big agricultural challenges. They were calling it an Apollo project. So, you know, that Bill had said, uh, oh, this is going to be really hard, but the size of the payoff, it's like putting a man on the moon. But then it's a little bit more like the cure for cancer, in the sense that you're dealing with something that, that you know, is a biolog higher biological organism that you're trying to affect. But, uh, perhaps I won't see another major uh, leap towards uh, a fully functional rice plant before I um, get to the end of my perch. I'm hopeful that the rate at which technology is improving, that we'll do it and it won't be that much longer. Well, we use Jane as, a, as an example quite regularly as saying, you know, this is the kind of approach we need for these sorts of projects. I think there's probably a future state where people, instead of calling it a, you know, a man on the moon or Apollo project, they'll be like, oh yeah, this is like C4 race. So, you know, this has always been a project that people are involved in knowing that it's, it's not just for us, it's for the community, for the population, for good.